Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda and today I'm out in my garden and I am about to harvest two buckets of uh, potatoes. I got two five gallon buckets that I had planted potatoes in a uh, while back and I am going to see if we got any kind of harvest on them. So let's get started. I am going to lower the camera so that you all can see the potatoes that I have. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour them on a tarp that I have lying on the ground and I'm going to put them as I harvest them, I'm gonna put them on top of my uh, little wagon cart. So uh, I'm gonna lower the camera. Go ahead and pour out. Now this bucket right here, as you can see, it started dying back, but it's not completely dead yet. But I'm just gonna go ahead and, and harvest these, whatever is in this bucket. Because for one thing, it's very hot out. <laughs> and I just wanna go ahead and start getting the harvest that I can. So I don't wanna let anything uh, slip by. You know, I don't wanna fool around and come back out here and they've uh, been over harvest or have died back and have rotted in my uh, container. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead while, you know, it's in the, kinda in the cycle, in the circle, and go ahead and get what I see need to get done now done because as it heats up, there are gonna be more things that's gonna to need to be done on the homestead and it's gonna be harder to do them because it's so hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these potatoes, pour the uh, soil out. Oh, I didn't mean to be straining and making these strain. Oh, these potatoes. So this was a red potato. It could be some different ones in there because I have been known to mix them and there is not a label on this bucket. Now if you want to collect my soil, I'll try to knock as much of my soil off as I can. nice and I have really been enjoying the potatoes that I have been harvesting because I, I told you all before there is a taste different in these potatoes than the ones that you purchase in the store they are so good They just have such a fresh taste to them. And you have to be careful with them. I was uh, trying to get the soil off, but I was, I see I knocked a bit of the skin off because when they first come out, they are real uh, the skin is really tender on it, so you don't want to be too rough with them. Best to kind of leave that soil on them while they're curing. But I was just trying to polish it up a little bit so you all could see. Because the skin is very easy to knock off. And then if you bruise them too much, you may have to go ahead and use them because you will have uh, gotten, you know, the skin to where the potato is vulnerable towards uh, rotting. And you don't want to do that unless you're planning, because I could take these potatoes in the house right now, peel them and eat them. They're perfectly fine to go ahead and eat right now. But if I want to store them for a while, 
then I need to go ahead and let them cure. And when they cure, the skin will toughen up. And all this soil is gonna be good soil that I'm gonna be able to use later. Okay, that looks like that's all for this one. And what does this say? This one, this, yeah, the label was in there. It said red potatoes. So I did have a label in there this time. Well, most of the time I have put a label in, but a lot of times that label gets lost, especially when something's, you know, having to go for a while for harvesting. Okay, so let's start on our second container. Another five gallon bucket. Pool. So this one looks like it's a white potatoes. White or Yukon gold. And I'm just gonna put them all up there together. Now these had completely died back. I see the seed potato and it's rotten. There's another seed potato. And these are all very small right here. These could be a Yukon gold. I need my soil. I don't know if I can even put these up here without them falling through these cracks on this wagon. Place them up there. Alright, let's pour it all out. See what we got. Okay. See, I think I, I may have let these go too long because this was a nice sized potato, but this one is squishy. So we're gonna have to take it and put it over here. Go to compost. So that's what I was talking about. You don't want to let them go too long. You want to make sure you get them at the right time so that you can be able to uh, harvest and keep all your potatoes and not have any potatoes that have sit in the container and rotted. That one's fine. These are looking like some Yukon gold. I don't see my label yet. There's another one that's squishy. So see, this is what happens, y'all. So uh, be careful. You, as you can see, this is the way that my, the stems were looking on these potatoes. And they say let them completely die back, but sometimes you can't completely let them die back because you'll end up with some rotten potatoes. I can go ahead and get this seed potato out. So that one wasn't that great. And I think that's it. So uh, that's a little tiny one. Okay, so that lets us know that all of them, yeah, this is a Yukon Gold. This was a Yukon Gold potato, so I found my label to that. And um, this lets you know that all of your harvest will not be big harvest, but still, those are potatoes. 
And those potatoes will be eaten. I'm gonna give another no. fork through to make sure I'm not leaving anything. I think that is it. So th this is our harvest for today out of these two five gallon buckets. That's our harvest for today. So I hope that you all enjoyed this short video, that you will give the video a thumbs up, that you will subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.